Hi Sagittarius, thank you for joining me for your February general read. Please remember that it is general so it cannot resonate for everyone and that includes the cross watchers. Please switch the energies around if it applies but never try and force a timeline to fit. If it's not your story this time then it's okay to just leave it be. The best way to view tarot as I always say <clears throat> is without expectations. So you take the bits that are resonating for you and you leave the bits that don't. Because it's a general read, you'll find that the bits that are not resonating for you are actually part of someone else's timeline, okay? Right, so this month's giveaway is for the Rebel deck. Everyone who has subscribed to my channel is automatically put in for the draw and for all future draws. The winners are announced on my YouTube community page. Please do claim your prize within a month. My private reads are not yet available. Thank you to all of those who have made inquiries about private readings. I am working very, very hard on rolling this out to everyone soon. And I'll also announce this on my YouTube community page when it does become available. Okay, um, I did forget to light your candle, Sagittarius. Right, so Sagittarius for the month of February. Let's see what you can expect. As always, I have pre-shuffled through all of the tarot decks, but I also appreciate that some viewers like to see just a quick little card shuffle on camera as well. Right. Sagittarius for February. This read is good for Sagittarius, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, whether you're single or coupled up or anything. It's a, it's a general read. We never ever know what's going to come out in a general read. It could be love, it could be work, it could literally be anything. Um, it's a non-specific spread on the general reads. Okay, so your first card out um, is strange because we've had this one quite a lot this month already for a lot of the zodiac signs. Um, number 23, which um, in tarot goes into a five. Fives pertain to changes, uh, usually uncomfortable changes. Um, all tied up is... Uh, to remember it's the eight of swords in traditional tarot which is all about sort of negative self-talk being trapped in your mind feeling restrained feeling restricted uh, feeling that you can't get done what you want um, feeling bound not being free to make your own choices it's that kind of really restrictive energy and that's six which in tarot pertains to perseverance, advancement, um, relationships. And also this particular energy, it pertains to feeling restricted. Your finances are really, really restricting you in the month of February or something that's going on in a work environment is making you feel really restricted. Some of you, now some of you have been waiting for some kind of promotion or a pay rise or something similar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and that is leaving you feeling really, yeah, there we go, financial constraints. It's, it's that stuck energy. Your money situation is making you feel stuck. On a side note though, we do have caring connections and happy family, which is number four. Fours pertain to uh, your foundations, your stability, your structure. Um, there's a really good structure here where it pertains to a family situation and caring connections. Um, now, some of you, not all of you, some of you, because again, it's a general read. We never know what's going to be picked up on. Um, for some of you, this money worries is 
obviously having a knock-on effect in in your home situation uh, for others of you this situation is what you're working towards um, th there's a heavy heavy focus here on your relationship or your family situation during the month of February money is a huge huge factor and some of you are feeling that this money situation is now becoming actually a little bit toxic um, because it's so much of a stress. I'll see if we can get anything else in your tarot. For some of you as well, this money situation is very, very temporary. It, it's going to be resolved really quite quickly. Um, Sagittarius, please, for February. What can Sag? These ones want to be seen. Okay, so we've got the Six of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Coins. Sagittarius. Some of you are helping out family members with money as well. Uh, the High Priestess, King of Wands. It's sort of um, ensuring that... Uh, you're sending money off to sort of family members. Oh. Okay. I'll read out the zodiac signs that I see when all the tarot's out on the table, okay? Please remember not to latch on to any particular zodiac signs. You may or may not be dealing with those zodiacs. Um, it's just a little bit extra snippet of information for those of you who are interested in what zodiacs are out. You've got guidance, please, for such February. That was me that dropped that one, guys. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the Hermit and the Tower. Guidance, please. Magician. What? That's three major arcanas in your guidance, Sag. That's insane. Judgment. Four major arcanas in your guidance. Energy at the bottom of the deck, King of Swords. Okay, so the zodiacs that we have out on the table. We have got um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have got Venus in Virgo with your Nine of Coins. We have got water energy with your High Priestess. We've got uh, King of Wands, that's fire energy. We've got Sun in Capricorn with four of coins. More fire with Ace of Wands. Um, we've got Gemini energy with your Ten of Swords. Um, we've got... Sun in Scorpio with your Six of Cups. We've got Virgo with your Hermit. Um, we've got Mars energy with the Tower, um, which is fire. We have got Air energy with the Magician. And more fire energy with judgment. Okay, so fire, water, air. Um, and there's your energy hidden under that with the temperance card. Okay, so 
As you know, the energies are interchangeable. This could pertain to your energy or it could be someone that you're dealing with. It could be their energy towards you. Um, we do have the King of Swords energy at the bottom of the deck. Um, I'm feeling that for the majority of you, this is your energy. Uh, you're analysing very, very closely a situation. Um, yeah, stuck in your head, that all tied up cards that we saw with the first oracle um, there's a need here for you to gain more information on someone or something uh, and that information is coming in towards you there's also um, you've been patient here with the temperance card been very very patient temperance is the careful blending of two opposing ideas um two opposing beliefs to anything that, that there's two of and they're opposing um you've been very very patient it's carefully blending um integration that's the word i'm looking for um it's finding the purpose it's finding the middle ground it's also the card of divine guidance and i'm feeling that for the month of february you are going to be heavily heavily divinely guided and the reason that i'm also saying that is because your guidance is four major arcana i have never ever 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 seen that in a read before um all major arcana in your guidance so you're going to be heavily divinely guided um you're not on your own for the month of february that is for certain there's also a huge huge change here that's happening for you in the month of february with so many major arcana in really well I say close proximity to each other they're all, they're all next to each other um there's finding meaning in something and also with the presence of the temperance cards it, it tells me as a reader that if a reconciliation is needed then the environment for that reconciliation is receptive um so you, you're deep in thought or someone that you're dealing with is deep in thought pertaining to how to make something work um how how to th there's a plan here someone is planning with the king of swords energy on how to make two things come together it's a really, really interesting start. Energy central to your read, King of Wands, taking action. It's all about taking action. And again, Sagittarius, if this is not your energy, then this is someone's energy towards you. Someone is going to take action towards you. Um, I'm, I'm picking up that for the majority of you, you're actually, the individual that you're dealing with and you are both mirroring each other. You're both feeling feeling tied up and stuck in your head you're both heavily heavily analyzing this situation on how to make this thing work whatever this thing is um but this energy here about taking action i'm feeling that that's more of someone else's energy towards you someone is very very determined to make something work with you they they've already made their decision and they're taking action towards you because they've seen you moving away from a situation. So this could have been a breakup of some kind or a communication breakdown. Um, it has sparked someone into action towards you. And in fact, you can even expect an apology here maybe with the Knight of Cups. Um, the Knight of Cups is all about a, a a communication that's coming in towards the individual that's moved away uh, so again it's another rubber band theory timeline um th there's this is a loving conversation. It's a truthful conversation. It's very, very honest. Um, it can be hurtful because it's so raw and honest. Um, 
So there's someone here that is absolutely wanting to apologise to you, Sagittarius. Um, they, they feel like you're slipping through their through their fingers a bit. Uh, the nine of coins, yeah. They, they now someone. <laughs> so I'm panicking as I speak because I'm picking up on this individual's energy. This individual is panicking, Sagittarius. Someone does not want you to be single. Um, Yeah, and also there's an individual here that is listening to music that is depressing them. Uh, again, I, I don't know if that's you, Sagittarius, or I don't know if it's the individual that you're listening to, but someone is listening to either music or conversations that are upsetting them. So I'll leave that one there. Um, the High Priestess again this pertains to um it's the unknown it's your intuition and it's secrecy now in this particular deck what i get with this particular high priestess is because the owl in here the owl is very very dominant in this card um it, it's it's mid-flight as well, so there is very swift information coming in towards you, Sagittarius. Anything that resonates for you that pertains to this very swift information, it's also higher knowledge as well. So some of you are going to be really tapping into your intuition in the month of February um, because you're trying to validate if what you feel is real or if it's just paranoia okay so th there is validation that's coming in towards you um truthful as well truthful information um with the presence of the high priestess <clears throat> It tells me that you're actually keeping your cards really, really close to your chest when it pertains to this specific situation, whatever it is for you. Um, and some, someone's been holding, you've been holding back as well. You've been holding back and waiting to see what this individual would do. Um, <clears throat> So probably a little bit of um, maybe like a little bit of a test for this individual. It's it's not in a manipulative way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Sagittarius. This individual really does want to speak to you, massively. So, um, you've tested someone to see how they would react if you walked away. I appreciate that that sounds manipulative, but I also know that the manipulation wasn't the aim of the game for you, Saj. Um, you just literally wanted to know if this individual was kosher. Um, it's it's self-protecting. It's, it's not manipulative when you're trying to protect your own emotions. Um, I understand. That's why you've been holding back. Um, you've been waiting for this energy to come in towards you and for the information to come in towards you rather than going out there and finding it. Um, and it is coming in. <clears throat> okay, we've also got the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Now, for some of you, not all of you, and if this does pertain to you, you will know it straight away okay um for some of you not all of you this does pertain to a situation where uh, an individual stepped outside of the relationship with this particular combination somebody has been uh, backstabbed and betrayed when it pertains to something sexual all right um for others of you there is going to be a new direction here for you to move in um, or, or a new individual for you to move towards. Um, th there is a lot of passion here and it's new, ace, 
aces pertain to new and <clears throat> An individual from your past is going to feel betrayed because you've moved on. All right. Six of Cups. Six of Cups pertain. It's the card of nostalgia. It's the soulmate card. It's the card of someone from your past or someone from a past life. It can also indicate that there is a significant age difference here between two individuals. It's um, it's, it's the card of reconciliation with a soulmate also. Right. Loads of information there. Um, and it branches off into a couple of different timelines. So absolutely do take the bits that are resonating for you and leave the bits that don't. Okay. Um, because that branched off in quite, quite a few different angles. Um, in your guidance, we have the Hermit and the Tower. So the divine, the tower is divine energy. It's literally the divine are stepping in and they're shaking things up for you um, because there's, there's something here that is not built on a firm, solid, sound foundation. Um, so the divine comes in and sort of wipes the table of all cards, so to speak, so that you can rebuild and start again. Um, now, because it's right next to the Hermit, there's a need here for someone to do some introspection on what it is that they want to build upon. Um, the, there's some of you you're at that stage where there's one fit in the past and then there's another fit in the future. You're kind of at that in-between stage, that transition stage, and it feels really, really uncomfortable. Um, and that that's, that's why you're being asked to go within um, the answer, what, whatever it is that you need, the answers that you need, you already have it inside you. It's just a matter of finding them. It's, it's introspection. Um, because some of you have been putting your energies into a, a shaky tower that is literally about to be pulled. Okay. Um, so that's your guidance is to take a step back and introspect and also to be prepared for this tower moment as well. Um, it's it's going to work out. I know how much of a cliche it sounds. I'm really, really sorry, but it is going to work out for the best in the long run. Short term pain for a long term gain with this one. Um, we then have the Magician and Judgment. So it's making the final decision about what it is that you want. There's a, an absolute need here for you to make your final decision. So when this information comes in, it's going to help you to make your final decision. It'll help you with um, pulling down this old tower. Because for some, not all, but for some, you're holding on to something that is broken. And you've got new, sorry, you have new energy that wants to come in towards you. But at the moment, it's being blocked by half a fallen tower. So the divine is going to help you in the month of February to pull down the rest of that old tower. Okay. Um, and again, judgment and six of cups. There is a reconciliation here with the soulmate for some of you. Right. Please let me know if that resonates for you guys, because I don't know what it is that I'm reading. Okay. I only, ha I can only read the cards. 
um, and give other information as and when it comes in. But it's it's not for us to know what it is we're reading. Um, it's for you to know. So absolutely, please do let me know if that resonates for you. Um, it's it's not a bad read though, Saj. It's it's a very it is positive. However, there's going to be a bit of a shake up in between. Um, th there's a rocky road here, and then your happiness. So it it's literally the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, so I'll see if I can get any further clarity for you, Sagittarius. Anything else, please, to search? <clears throat> oh. Okay. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at, is at work in your love life. Yeah, you guys, you are massively, massively being divinely guided throughout February. That is for sure. We have very soon, yeah, clearly decide what you want now. What you want is that it comes to you now. And that was literally what your guidance was in the tarot. Sagittarius, please. It's literally just reiterating your entire read there. Oh, I've just dropped these. Right, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. So, yeah, it's someone from your past or someone from a past life. Basically, um, your souls already know each other. Okay, right, so... I'll get you some more oracles out on this. Trust your intuition throughout the month of February, uh, Sagittarius. It's guiding you and you are actually on the right path as well. Sagittarius. Oh. We have a message for you. I'm thinking of you at this very moment. Your love fills sorry your love fills me with light i love you so there's a secret message uh, that's coming in for you sagittarius and what <laughs> what a better time of year to receive a secret love message the valentine's just around the corner okay we have healing imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light feel your relationship being healed at this very moment acceptance is the key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control and wait don't rush into it allow nature to take its cause Sagittarius you have got nothing to worry about during the month of February you are being heavily heavily uh, divinely guided massively so um it's written all over your spread there is nothing for you to worry about Sag nothing right so for those of you who are easily offended at swearing then your read has ended now thank you very much for watching and for those of you who don't give a shit about swearing then this is the rebel deck this is February's giveaway um, it's very blunt, straight to the point, and it can be quite brutal. Please also remember that for every single oracle card that comes out, it's up to the viewer to decide what side of the table they're sitting on for every single card, okay? Sagittarius, please. <clears throat> right, we have time to let go, move the fuck on. So again, that could be, that could easily be someone that you're dealing with, Sag. It's not necessarily for you. Oh, we have winning. You've got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Sagittarius, please. Step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass. Eat some yummy shit, bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. You're the shit, don't forget it. And fuck, shit is about to get real. You need your people around you. 
Okay, so that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so, so much to all of those who have liked, shared, subscribed and commented to my channel. And also a massive thank you to those who have donated to my channel as well. It has helped me to upgrade the quality of my content in every way. And I appreciate every single one of you. So thank you so, so much. Please do let me know if it resonates because again, we don't know what it is that we're reading. Uh, we just have to, we have to trust our cards. We have to trust the messages that come in. It makes no sense to us. Okay. Um, and yeah, please let, let me know. Uh, I do read through all of your comments. I might not be able to reply to them all, um, but I absolutely read them all and appreciate every, every single interaction. So thank you again, Sagittarius. Have a lovely, lovely February. Uh, happy Valentine's Day as well. And we shall speak again soon. Bye.